So you consider yourself well-versed in Android. You know all the apps, or at least you think you do. Well, here are some that we think even hardcore Android users might want to check out. So let's get into it. Thanks for watching 95 Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. Up front though, let's just state that while some of these apps are going to be unknown to many of you out there, there are a few more that are kind of obvious or popular inclusions, but they are warranted all the same. So let's get to it. Lots of smartphones launch with high quality wallpapers. Sadly though, many of these end up being exclusive or at least hard to get off of those devices. However, with free applications like Stokey, you can get a taste of another device with supposedly over 10,000 stock wallpapers available in this application that can be applied to whatever Android device that you do own, including tablets. You'll find all of the classic lineups from devices past, including the original Pixel series, some of the older iPhones, plus the ability to tweak with customized blur gradients means that you can kind of put your own stamp on existing stock wallpapers. Stokey also makes it easier to tailor your device theme, and it's a great companion with Material U, especially on Pixel phones and devices that support the dynamic color option. Developed by OnePlus, Clipped is a fully seamless clipboard management application, and this mimics the clipboard sharing functionality that you might find on Apple devices, and it really works well given that it is a plug-in feature. To share between your phone or tablet and PC, you will need a Chrome or browser extension. You can upload multiple or upload from multiple devices and then across any linked hardware with this clipboard history option available to you. Sharing isn't even limited to copy text. You can even share images and videos on top of that too, making the function even more seamless in some ways than Google's own nearby share. And it plugs directly into the share sheet on Android, especially on Android 12 and newer devices. If you do use uh, systems like MacBook or macOS powered devices, then this makes things super easy without having to ever pick out a cable and use third party apps to share things in a non-standard manner. If you're an aspiring cook or a cook of a long time, you'll know the pain of finding and managing your favorite recipes. Sure, you can bookmark pages if you find recipes online in Chrome or in your browser of choice, but it can be tough to organize and search for these. Whisk though is a smartphone era recipe book that lets you store all of your recipes in one convenient and easy to access place. You can just copy recipe links from websites and thanks to the website markup tools built in, Whisk will pull all of the relevant ingredient information and presents everything in an easy to digest manner, no pun intended. From here, you can add to your shopping list or save to a collection if you wanna try out a recipe later. There's even a sort of mini social a media element that helps you find, rate, and discover new recipes within community tabs and for people with certain nutritional uh, needs and requirements. On top of that, nutritional breakdowns of saved recipes are also right there at your fingertips, which help you make the right dietary decisions on top of that too. And best of all, this is completely free. So there are hundreds of good podcast players out there, but most are fairly derivative of one another. While Snipped is a podcast app for Android, it offers a little more functionality courtesy of highlighting and even note taking features. AI powered search also lets you clip up portions of your favorite podcasts or even podcasts you've never listened to and share them across social media or save later for listening in your own time. Snipped claims to enhance podcast discoverability with a TikTok style feed with short clips from curated or even suggested shows that may be picked out based upon your interests. The text transcription though is really impressive when viewing or using saved audio clips, at least in our experience. What's most impressive is how slick the application looks with no in-app purchases and no intrusive ads to speak of. Best of all, like many of the best applications on Android, it's completely free. Calentile is a super simple little 99 cent add-on for Android that you should definitely download if you have a device that utilizes Google's recent Android 12 tile layout changes within the quick settings panel that is. Although this isn't an app in the traditional sense, for Pixel phones, we think this is an essential add-on though. For whatever reason, no OEMs, Google included, offer a dedicated tile for your calendar within the notification shade. Sure, you can check the time and date at any time that you want to by pulling down this section, but Calentile goes beyond that by plugging into your existing Google Calendar or even third-party applications and shows any upcoming events or holidays. You can customize the controls too. A tap can open your preferred calendar application as we mentioned, or it can just be a static reference option that is right available to you. Shortcut Maker is a proper power user Android app that is really an essential if you want better automation or just a way to skip directly to specific settings menu sections and things like that. That's not necessarily the best explanation as with this application, you can create home screen shortcuts that will launch into a multitude 
of actions. It's hard to do an application like this justice, a little bit like Tasker, but it's being able to create shortcuts to launch apps into split screen or just head to a specific section of your menu or even into a specific in-app area that is really, really cool here. For tinkerers or just as a time-saving tool, we definitely think it's worth a try. Over the past year or so, Shop has become a really useful home for package tracking, at least in my experience. It's actually powered by the popular e-commerce platform Shopify, which doesn't necessarily mean it's a great deal, but it's a respected platform nonetheless. This is not an unknown either, as it's been downloaded well over 10 million times on the Play Store, but we think it probably deserves a few more on top of that. However, we have to say it's a really solid and useful application, as it's a hub for all of your packages and orders that you've placed. The real-time map tracking is something that doesn't necessarily work with every single courier or package company, but it's useful if you're able to get precise information on where your online order is. For that reason, we think Shop is a must have. There is extra options in this like an in-app payment platform and some suggestions for purchases and online stores. There's also options to help reduce and offset your carbon footprint for specific orders, but it's the core package tracking that we think is a main draw here and something you'll want to check out. You probably know Launch Air Launch already. It's become one of the go-to third-party launchers for those wanting a clean, unobtrusive experience for their Android phone. For that reason, it has to be considered an essential Android app, at least for us, especially as being Pixel users. Android has potentially thousands of launchers out there that all offer varying degrees of control and customization under the hood. Nova may be number one in the charts, but if you want something close to the Pixel launcher, but with a bit more oomph, then we think you should be using Launcher. And the integration with the things like the Google Discover feed is a notable inclusion here for us, while you have a proper contextual at a glance widget up top too. So if you don't have a Pixel, you can actually try this out for yourself and get a little bit of that Pixel experience. Of course, we haven't even scratched the surface of what you can do to your smartphone home screen with Launcher Launcher, but like most third-party launchers, you do have endless possibilities to customize your device. And for that reason, you should definitely check it out. So Reddit has a ton of third-party viewers, readers, and management applications. One of the best looking and simplest though that you might not be already aware of or even using is Infinity for Reddit. We think it's good because it's fairly lightweight, has a really nice navigation system, and has a properly AMOLED-friendly dark theme, among tons of other features, including a neat auto-scrolling lazy mode, which is great if you just want to consume memes. One of the big things touted by the developers though is the card view, and I think this is kind of what has me coming back to infinity time after time. Plus the subreddit view is also a really nice addition for people who spend a lot of time on specific subreddits. At the end of the day, this is just another Reddit client, but a really good one at that. If you're not interested in the site, then it probably won't be an essential, but for time killing, it's a tidy, well-organized Android application that we think you should check out. So Google One is available to everyone, but it's most useful and a must have when you're factoring the subscription plans. Unfortunately though, Google has now removed unlimited high quality photo backups within Google Photos, or at least it will for most people out there. That means that if you want to preserve all of your memories, then you're gonna to need to fork out for some extra storage, which is a little bit disappointing. It's one of the few subscription services though that we think is actually worth it. Even the base 100 gigabyte tier is almost enough for most people out there with the added bonus of random subscriber benefits such as re uh, free Nest Minis, but being a Google One subscriber of a certain level, the two terabyte $9.99 per month here, will net you a VPN. It's also the added backup options for Android users that prove to be a notable benefit. And one of the reasons why it is something that we suggest people add if they do wanna have that extra storage on their device. Although pretty commonplace on the Play Store, Wavelet takes your headphone or earbuds to the next level with a detailed equalizer that lets you tweak your audio experience on a device by device basis, especially those connected to your phone if you have lots of Bluetooth earbuds. The basic free version of the app lets you auto EQ to some of the most popular headphone and earbud brands, which is really nice. And a lot of brand uh, applications won't do that. And this ensures that you're experiencing your audio library in the best possible way on your Android smartphone. With an in-app purchase though, you gain some added effects and full controls for the visualizers. That said, the free version offers a ton of presets that you can still tailor your audio experience to for specific headphones or earbuds. My personal opinion is that for wannabe audio files, Wavelet is an essential Android application and something, if you have the Pixel Buds specifically, may be worthwhile as you can help tune the audio to get a little bit more from Google's first party earbuds. So that's a few of our favorite Android applications that we think you should be checking out for late 2022 and early 2023. I wanna ask you though, do you have any apps that you simply can't live without on your Android phone? Or do you have a favorite that you think more people need to know about? Let us know down in the comment sections below. It's always interesting to hear how you use applications in your phone. Until next time though, this is Damien with 9to5Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.